Jaquita's cousin Melvin would often babysit her son, but last summer accusations were made that Melvin molested Jaquita's little boy. Oh. And when the boy's father, Frederick, and his girlfriend, Shayla, questioned the child about the abuse, he told them that it was a man named Melvin. Take a look. I've never in a million years would have thought that I would have walked in on anybody messing with my child, let alone his brother. The whole situation is just messed up. Last summer, my boyfriend was at work. I was at home with my son and his other son, Keita's son. And when I walked by the room, they both were sitting on the bed, touching each other very inappropriately. When I saw this, I completely freaked out. I panicked. I separated them both. I had never seen anything like this in my life. I knew my child didn't know anything about, you know, any kind of sexual activity or anything in that nature. So it completely shocked me. When I called Keita and told her what was going on, she was very apologetic. And from there, we just kind of questioned Keita's son later on that night. And he told us that Melvin made him touch on his butt. He said Melvin showed him videos in his phone of other men doing inappropriate things to each other. And so he said that's where he got it from. And that was the reason he did it to my son. When you hear that you're being accused of molesting the little boy, what, what runs through your mind? It hurts my heart. It, it's something that I never thought that I would be accused of. What did your son say to you? He said, Melvin did it. He, he, he described the sexual yeah, he, he was like, he was like, uh, Melvin, Melvin. I said, where you get this from? He said, Melvin. Shayla and Fred brought my son back. I talked to my son immediately, and I um, just asked him, okay, let me know what's going on, because your, your cousin could go to jail. You know, I just want to know, are you sure about this, basically? And that's what he told me, no, it didn't happen. So I'm like, well, son, if it didn't happen, why would you tell me and your father, Fred, that it happened? First off, look, it was only I don't a know week what... he was in my house. How did I coach him? He was there longer, longer than a week. When that happened, it was a week, Keita. Yeah, okay, well, when that even, happened, if, it was a even week. if it was the a week. Day when, when the, the third even day if it was a week, in my house, my son came in the kitchen and said, I want to play mom and daddy. I didn't think nothing of it. I didn't think anything of it because, you know, he's a child. You... So then when the incident happened and I called it, now I'm like, okay, boom, this is where it's coming from. So were now... You, were you also talking after you saw this behavior were you, did you talk to the boy or was it just his father? The first time I did, and when he got home, when, I had him tell him you, what he told me. Right. When, and when you were talking to the little boy, what did he say to you? I asked him where did he get it from. Um, first he said it was another family member that be touching on him. Then it came out that... And he said a name? <laughs> yeah. That's my first Other than name. Melvin? I'm I really, swear, you, I swear to you. Really? Oh, you talking about... Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, when you oh, say the oh. family member, well, okay. Right. But I'm saying it was a name other than Melvin. Yeah. First, okay. it was it was another name. Then it came to Melvin touch on both of them. Mm hmm Oh, okay. I see what you're mm -hmm. saying there. So do you, be do you believe that Melvin did this to the little boy? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Yeah. Because you've when never, it comes you've... down to him, he, like, her son, when you talk to him, like you really, he, he's really shy. Like when you be, like, it's hard to really get an answer out of him. So, yeah. you know, I don't know, but I just know what he said. It you know, what I, I know what he told me. I know I don't know you. This is my first time seeing you. And before the incident happened, the day before the incident happened, I can't remember what he said, but he said something about Melvin. And then the next day it happened, and he said Melvin name. I'm like, well, he just said Melvin name yesterday. So Frederick, we gave you a lie detector test. And we asked you, did you fabricate the story that your son told you that Melvin touched his private part? You answered no. Did you coach your son to say that Melvin touched his private part? You answered no. The results for your lie detector test, they came back the same to each question, and it came back that Frederick told the truth. Shayla took a lie detector test. And we asked you, did Frederick's son tell you that Melvin touched his private area? You answered yes. Did you coach Frederick's son to say that Melvin touched his private part? To that question, you answered no. The results came back the same to each question. 
and it came back that Shayla told the truth. We asked you, Melvin, have you ever shown pornographic images to Jaquita's son? You answered no. You told the truth. Did you ever have Jaquita's son do anything sexual to you? You answered no. You told the truth. Did you ever touch Jaquita's son's private part? Did you ever touch Jaquita's son's private part? You answered no. And the result for that question is, you did not tell the truth. Oh, man, you touch my baby, baby. get that job from nowhere. Steve, you touch my baby. baby. You touch my son, bro. You touch my, my baby. baby. Dan to explain something about your test. And this is what we call a conditional result. The reason that the result is conditional is because he came and said that he used ecstasy on Friday evening. Ecstasy is something that we always want to see if it's still in the system, and a couple days later it might be. So I asked him if he would take a drug test, and he refused. The producers asked him, would you take a drug test, and he refused. This leads me to believe that he took other drugs as a possible countermeasure to try to beat this test. This is why he came here, because he thought that he would get away with it. Melvin, you went backstage, we gave you a drug test, and you were given a 16-panel drug test. You disclosed that you used marijuana, but you didn't disclose that you used cocaine, you failed for cocaine use. You did use cocaine? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, Steve, so still, undisclosed drugs, um, when you start lying to the polygraph examiner, it doesn't work out well. He contacted the show to clear his name. Then he becomes uncooperative. I still can't rule out that he didn't try to use a Xanax last night or the day before uh, to try to suppress his reactions as countermeasures. That's a very short-lived drug, and it wouldn't show up on the, uh, on the drug test this morning or this afternoon. So um, the conditional result still stands. I estimate the accuracy of this polygraph test to be 80% or better. Don't do drugs before you come here. Yeah, you we tell you anyways. that. You did it anyway. You did it anyway. So, Even I knew that. So if you were really innocent and wanted to prove that you didn't do this, you would make sure. Everybody knows that. Then you would make sure you didn't do any drugs. But the, the other fact that really concerns me is, well, you passed for a couple. You didn't, you know, you didn't make him touch you, and you didn't show pornographic videos. You touched him, which that's how it usually goes down. Yeah. So I'm asking you, as just as a human being, won't you admit that you made a horrible mistake? No, I won't. I want to take another test. If I was under the influence, they should take me and another test. And hopefully, when you go home, listen. Hopefully, when you go home, and the, the sheriff's or the change. police department will give you that other test. And with that. I hope you'll prosecute this guy, go oh, home, go yeah, to police. Yeah, yeah. And with that, well, you get the hell off my get stage. Off. This is somebody that you knew uh, your whole I life. I I knew. Right? I, I well, that's the thing. And, and people say all the time, oh, you know, a child, I go, how, what does a child molester look like? Hmm. You know, we, you don't know. You yeah, don't know. Right well, yeah, that's, that's one that looks like that. But like you said, here you, you know, you have to trust, if you were a working mother, you need people to watch your kids. And it's trust. scary, right, that you can trust. And then something like this happens. Um, and like I said, I thought you brought up an excellent point how this then also affected your child, mm. which is it, 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 when it's child molestation is a terrible thing and it really harms children. I hope that you'll get help for your kids, but I hope you go back. The first thing you do is you call the police on oh, this I guy. Am. And get him locked up. Oh, yeah, Thanks yeah, for coming yeah. on. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You like what you see? All new episodes are coming, and you do not want to miss out. Click subscribe now.